for the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember um, the bottom cards. Remember the bottom cards. They're paired with the top cards. And I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So Libra, in the recent past, we have the star card. Now this would have been a great time to meet someone new if you were in the market for a new relationship. Although it's not impossible that love may have simply knocked at your door, it is more likely that you would have needed to get out there and socialize and mingle. A new relationship could have happened at any time, so you made sure not to turn down any invitations at that time. If you were already in a love relationship, then your relationship could have moved to a new level. One that was not only higher, but more fulfilling. You made the most of this opportunity and you built on it. Or that's what you should have done. The star card is paired with the nine of swords. Now something could have been troubling you at that time in the past with regards to your relationship. You didn't ignore your gut feelings. If you felt that something in the relationship was unhealthy, you were probably correct. If you suspect that something was going on behind your back, your best bet was to ask your partner about it. If you have recently met someone uh, you probably didn't get too carried away believing that all is what it seems. You knew that trust takes time to develop and you were not too much in a hurry. And that's the recent past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the King of Swords. Now this card can mean a strong, forceful, opinionated man could be a part of your scenario at this time. This man, if he is your lover or your spouse, it means that you're going to have to accept him as he is. And whether you're male or female, you'll best deal with him by drawing on your feminine aspects. The fem draw on the feminine uh, side of yourself to deal with this man. Uh, don't put up with any mistreatment though. This man can walk the line between being stereotypically manly and possibly overstepping his bounds. So you may need to protect yourself at this time. Okay, the King of Swords. It's paired with the Moon card. Now the Moon card it points to a highly emotional time in a relationship. Things can, things can quickly become heated, overheated or uncomfortable. Take a break if you need to. Don't make assumptions. Fight fairly. That is, if you're going to fight at all. Make sure to pick your battles and be sure to treat your lover like a friend. Don't be in a hurry to end or to begin a relationship. This is really probably not the best time for either course of action. With these two cards paired together, the King of Swords, uh, there is a man in your life or a man coming towards you. He's very forceful, strong, opinionated. Okay, now this man, uh, he could possibly be overstepping his bounds. Uh, if you're going to uh, stay with this person or make him a part of your life, you're probably going to have to accept him as he is. Okay? All right? But just protect yourself if you have to. And the King of Swords is paired with the Moon card. Uh, this man, this powerful, forceful male in your life or coming towards you, um, it's going to create an emotional, a highly emotional time with this person. 
things can become quickly overheated with this man and yourself. Take a break if you need to. Don't make assumptions and fight fairly. So it's going to be a challenge to deal with this person. And he could be someone in your life or, like I said, someone coming towards you. He could be your father. He could be your brother. Um, he could be um, a relative. Uh, just um, protect yourself if you have to. And uh, it doesn't necessarily mean he's a bad person or that he's harmful. But he's very strong and forceful extremely opinionated and uh, sometimes he oversteps his bounds okay so if you're going to stick with him and just accept him as he is that's what the uh, king of swords is saying and that's the present now we move on to the challenge we have the nine of pinnacles now this is an excellent card in the tarot when it comes to love if you're currently committed you can expect the relationship to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. If you're unattached and single and looking, this card tells you that someone new who has what it takes to be in a new meaningful deep love could be headed your way soon. So smile because the world loves a happy person. And the Nine of Pentacles is paired with the Page of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles is paired with the Page of Wands. Okay, the Page of Wands is about messages, messages of love and affection. They're likely to be coming your way. If you're single, a new suitor with whom you have a whole lot in common with and who is very adventuresome may be about to burst into your world at this time. What you need to do is take a chance on him, but only if you're available. If you're in a committed and unhappy relationship, uh, now is the time to begin to, to decide. Now is the time. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now is the time to begin to decide if the relationship can be saved and how long you. I'm sorry. Okay, now is the time to begin to decide if the relationship can be saved and how long you'll try to make it happen. Both parties will have to work in a relationship. If your partner isn't, it might be time to move on. With these two cards paired together, the Nine of Pentacles, it's an excellent time for love with the Nine of Pentacles. You can expect the relationship to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. It's paired with the Page of Wands. So messages of love could be coming your way, possibly with this person that you're already in a relationship with. Um, he could be a romantic type of person where he likes to leave notes and send you special gifts um so it's a great time if you're already in a relationship and if you're single uh you, you could be meeting someone new at this time who you have a whole lot in common with very adventuresome type of person uh they could be coming towards you uh take a chance on them okay and if uh, I was choking, but I'll re-explain what I was trying to say about if you're committed and unhappy, committed and unhappy, now's the time to begin to decide if the relationship can be saved, okay? That's if you're unhappy and you're with someone. How long you'll try to make it work and happen, okay? Both parties have to be willing to work in the relationship. If your partner isn't, it's probably time to move on. Okay, that's what that's going to be the challenge. And um, once again, that's the Page of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Whew, okay, so sorry about the choking. Now we move on to the outcome. 
we have the five of cups okay the five of cups a love relationship you are in may have just ended or may it be it could be about to start the process of ending you must realize that all is not lost you're probably not ready to move on to a new relationship give yourself some time and space then get back out there there will come a day when you realize that the reason the relationship ended was to get you to a place where you really want and need to be, which is in a relationship that really works well for you. That's with the Five of Cups, and it's paired with the Six of Pentacles. Now, this points to a happy, fair, generous, and balanced relationship for at least a while. So allow your lover to give to you, and at the same time, make sure that you're doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. If you're unattached but looking, uh, you're likely to meet someone new who is positive, kind, and generous. This may come about by way of introduction from someone you know. So make sure you let people know that you're looking for a partner. Okay, with these two cards paired together in the Five of Cups, a relationship that uh, you're in, it could have just ended or about to start the process of ending. Just realize all is not lost. It's taking you to where you really need to be, okay? And it's paired with the Six of Pentacles, uh, the place where you need to be. If you've left that relationship, it brought you to a point of happiness, uh, fair, generous, balance, times, or either a, re or a relationship that is that way, okay? Uh, with this new love or the new life that you have, uh, allow yourself, well, allow your lover, your new lover, to give, and at the same time, make sure you're doing your fair share of giving. Okay, and that's with the new relationship that you've possibly found after you've left your partner or moved on. Or you could have just moved on to yourself to a happier situation, just being independent, okay, without being in a relationship. Okay, so, and also if you're single, it's a really great time uh, because you could meet, meet someone who's... Um, very like-minded and he's going to be a very positive kind and generous person or she could be that way the new person that you're about to meet uh, but don't forget to let people know that you're looking for a partner because this uh, person is going to come by way of introduction okay so that's not too bad then that's going to be the outcome so libra i hope this resonates as you know general readings they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. Watching and have a great day. Watching.